GPT-4 has reportedly passed the Turing test, claiming it can now exhibit human-like intelligence in a way that's hard to distinguish from a real person. This breakthrough showcases incredible progress in AI, but it also raises some important questions. Could GPT-4's advanced capabilities pose risks to humanity? Let's dive into what this claim means for our future and how it might change the way we live and work. This is extremely important. Um, I think the danger of AI is much greater than the, the, the danger of nuclear warheads by a lot. GPT-4 just passed the Turing test. The recent Turing test, where scientists put various artificial intelligences into conversations with humans, has sparked a lot of concerns. For a long time, people have talked to AIs knowing full well that they were just machines. The idea that an AI could be so sophisticated that it couldn't be told apart from a real human seemed like something that would only happen far in the future. But things have changed rapidly. Large language models designed to understand and generate human language have made huge strides in their capabilities. These models are now a core part of many applications we use daily, from virtual assistants to customer service chatbots. They have become so good at mimicking human conversation that they are getting close to the point where it's hard to tell if you're talking to a machine or a person. The Turing test, created by Alan Turing in 1950, is a way to determine if a machine can show intelligent behavior that is similar to or indistinguishable from a human. The idea behind the test is that if a person cannot reliably tell whether they are interacting with a machine or a human based on the conversation alone, then the machine can be said to have passed the test. This has been a key benchmark in the field of artificial intelligence for decades, setting a high standard for what we consider machine intelligence. Recently, researchers at the University of California, San Diego, conducted a study titled People Cannot Distinguish GPT-4 from a Human in a Turing Test. Their findings suggest that the latest version of OpenAI's language model, GPT-4, might have met or even surpassed this milestone. This is significant because it implies that GPT-4 can engage in conversations that are so natural and human-like that people cannot easily tell they are speaking with an AI. The study process. The researchers wanted to find out how well different AI systems could imitate human conversational behavior. To do this, they set up an experiment where several participants were asked to have conversations with four different agents. Three were artificial intelligence and one was a human. Importantly, the participants did not know if they were talking to a human or an AI during the conversations. The artificial intelligence included in the experiment was Eliza, which is a program from the 1960s, GPT 3.5, and the new version, GPT 4. Each participant engaged in a five-minute conversation with each agent. After each conversation, they were asked to decide if they believed they had spoken to a human or an AI. They were evaluated based on several criteria to determine how convincingly human the AI seemed. One important criterion was fluency. This looked at how smoothly and naturally the conversation flowed. Participants assessed whether the AI's responses were coherent and whether the dialogue felt like a normal, uninterrupted chat with another person. Smooth, fluent conversations make it harder to tell if you're speaking with an AI or a human. Another key aspect was relevance. Here, participants judged how appropriate and on-topic the AI's responses were to the questions and context of the conversation. For example, if asked a specific question, did the AI give a relevant answer that made sense in that context? Or did it go off on an unrelated tangent? Relevant responses indicate a better understanding of the conversation, making the AI seem more human-like. The third criterion was human-like behavior. This involved looking at how well the AI's responses mimicked human characteristics. This includes not just what the AI said, but how it said it. Did the AI display emotional and social cues that humans typically use in conversations? For example, did it express empathy, excitement, or humor appropriately? These human-like traits help the AI come across as more believable and relatable. Participants' judgments were recorded and analyzed to determine how accurately each AI system could mimic human conversational behavior. The key metric for success in these tests 
was the percentage of times participants mistakenly identified the AI as a human. This mistake indicated the AI's ability to pass the Turing test. In a study published on May 9th on the preprint ArcShift server, scientists discovered some surprising results about GPT-4, an advanced AI language model. They found that 54% of participants in the study believed that GPT-4 was a human being. This is a significant and concerning figure for many experts, as it suggests that GPT-4 is very convincing in mimicking human communication. To put this in perspective, earlier AI models and programs were much less convincing. For example, Eliza, one of the first AI programs created decades ago, only managed to fool 22% of participants into thinking it was human. More recently, GPT-3.5, the predecessor to GPT-4, fooled 50% of participants. These comparisons show that GPT-4 has made big progress in appearing human-like, outperforming not just older models, but also the immediate previous version. The potential impact. The broader implications of these findings are profound for human-AI interaction across various contexts. As AI systems like GPT-4 become more adept at mimicking human conversation, they can be more effectively integrated into roles that require natural language understanding and generation. In virtual assistants, AI can take on tasks such as scheduling appointments, sending reminders, and managing emails, making day-to-day -day life easier for individuals and businesses. Virtual assistants powered by AI can understand and anticipate needs, providing a more personalized experience. AI's role in mental health support is also expanding. AI-driven chatbots and virtual therapists can provide immediate assistance to individuals seeking help, offering a safe space to talk and even recognizing signs of distress. While they are not a replacement for human therapists, they can be a valuable resource for those in need of immediate support or those who might be hesitant to seek help in person. Educational tools are another area where AI is making a significant impact. AI can provide personalized learning experiences, adapting to each student's pace and style of learning. This can be particularly beneficial in large classrooms where individual attention is limited. AI can also assist teachers by handling administrative tasks, allowing them to focus more on teaching and interacting with students. Despite AI's many positive impacts, there are significant concerns about its potential risks. Nell Watson, an AI researcher at the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers, has highlighted some of these worries. Watson pointed out that machines can sometimes work together in ways that are not straightforward, creating seemingly logical reasons for their actions after the fact, much like humans do. This means that AI systems can develop cognitive biases, be deceived, and even manipulated. These abilities can make AI increasingly deceptive, this is particularly alarming because it suggests that AI systems can adopt human-like flaws and quirks. In the past, AI was much simpler and operated more like a straightforward tool, following preset rules and giving predictable responses. However, modern AI systems have become more complex and sophisticated, meaning they can sometimes exhibit behaviors that mimic human imperfections. The findings about AI's ability to deceive and pass as humans are quite alarming. When an AI can easily mimic human behavior, it becomes much harder for people to tell if they are interacting with a person or a machine. This confusion has significant implications for various aspects of our lives, particularly in terms of security, privacy, and ethics. For instance, in terms of security, if AI can convincingly pretend to be human, it could be used to trick people into sharing sensitive information, leading to fraud or identity theft. Imagine receiving a call from what sounds like a trusted friend or a customer service representative, but it's an AI designed to deceive you. The potential for harm in such scenarios is immense. Privacy concerns are also heightened. If AI can blend smoothly into human interactions, it could gather personal information without individuals realizing it. This could lead to unauthorized data collection and misuse, compromising personal privacy and autonomy. People might unknowingly share private details with an AI, thinking they are communicating with a real person, which could then be used for malicious purposes. AI has the potential to impact society in negative ways, and we must understand and manage these risks responsibly. 
One significant area of concern is the use of AI in military applications. Governments around the world are exploring AI for various defense purposes, including autonomous weapons and surveillance systems. While these technologies can enhance national security, they also raise serious ethical and safety issues. The use of AI in warfare could lead to conflicts that are fought with minimal human intervention, potentially making wars more frequent and devastating. Autonomous weapons might make decisions without human oversight, increasing the risk of unintended harm and escalating conflicts unpredictably. Additionally, AI can be used by governments to control and monitor their citizens. Advanced surveillance technologies powered by AI can track people's movements, communications, and online activities with unprecedented precision. This level of surveillance can infringe on individual privacy and freedoms, leading to a society where people are constantly watched and monitored. In extreme cases, such technologies could be used to suppress dissent, control public opinion, and enforce authoritarian rule. The potential for abuse in such scenarios is high, and it is essential to establish clear guidelines and regulations to prevent misuse. Beyond military and governmental control, AI can also contribute to societal issues like job displacement. As AI systems become more capable, they can perform tasks traditionally done by humans, leading to job losses in various sectors. This can create economic instability and widen the gap between different socioeconomic groups. Moreover, AI systems can perpetuate and even amplify existing biases present in society. If the data used to train these systems contains biases, the AI will likely reproduce these biases in its decisions and actions. This can lead to unfair treatment in areas such as hiring, lending, law enforcement, and beyond, further entrenching societal inequalities. The future of AI. The scientists have argued that there are valid criticisms of the Turing test being too simplistic in its approach. They explain that stylistic and socio-emotional factors play a larger role in passing the Turing test than traditional notions of intelligence. This means that we might be looking in the wrong place when we try to determine if a machine is truly intelligent. Instead of focusing solely on raw intellect or the ability to solve complex problems, we should consider how well the AI understands situations and the skills of others and has the empathy to connect these elements effectively, because it's these qualities that will enable AI to serve as a faithful and reliable assistant in our daily lives. It allows AI to not just execute commands, but to do so in a way that is considerate and contextually appropriate. The rapid advancement of AI technologies like GPT-4 necessitates an urgent need to develop ethical frameworks and robust regulations for the use of AI. Establishing clear ethical standards can help ensure that AI is developed and used in ways that benefit society and minimize harm. This also requires ongoing dialogue between technologists, policymakers, and the public. It's essential to have open discussions about the implications of AI and to involve diverse perspectives in shaping its future. This collaborative approach can help create a balanced and informed strategy for integrating AI into society. This makes it crucial to have transparency in AI interactions so users are aware when they are engaging with AI systems. If you have made it this far, let us know what you think in the comment section below. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.